Welcome home. Good afternoon, everyone. Huh? Good afternoon. Um, thanks for coming and joining us. And for many of you, I would say uh, welcome. Welcome home in many cases uh, yes. to sure the amount of time you spent here. My name is Trevon Canada. I head up operations for our middle and large commercial uh, segments at the Hartford. Um, joined up here where you know this gentleman, Michael. So Michael and I got to know each other through work at the Mark Twain House. And so similar, you know, I have a background where I've been in finance as a CFO, now in operations. And so immediately you connect with somebody who's got a similar background and the you know, CFO and COO work. And so as much as I got to know him and saw him excited about the work he did for Mark Twain, we really lighted up is when we started talking about the producer guild. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> producing guilt. Producing guilt. <laughs> producing guilt. He said, he said, what, you want to do a reason? Producing guilt. <laughs> the producing guilt. Uh, so thank you, glad I got that correct. So, it had, so it's, a friend of mine recently, he had um, never acted before, but then participated in a local play in Simsbury, who was called Our Town. And so went there. And it was awesome. It was, see, he participated, my wife and I were there, and then went with the cast after to celebrate. And just the amount of energy and the family that was created in that. And then I went to the Mark Twain house, and one of the actors who had been in that play worked at Mark Twain. And so that's when Michael and I start, kind of struck up the conversation. He's like, did you know? And he started telling me about the history of the group and the performances that you did in this very theater. Right? And so for me, this was just the theater we used for town halls, and company uh, events. But to see the photos and the diagrams of the full set pieces, I, I, I don't want to share with the rest of the insurance folks about him climbing up and changing some of the lights. Uh, we'll, we'll keep that part of it in the past. Uh, but it impressed me, just the history of the producing guild along with the connection with the Hartford and felt it was something we should celebrate. And so when he mentioned the opportunity and said, well, could we think about doing this? Uh, and so once I heard about it, got behind it, uh, and happy to continue to work with Michael at the Mark Twain House, but then sharing this moment together. Also want to thank my admin, Maureen, who's kind of been the horsepower behind it, keeping things going, uh, telling me where to go. So she's the director of my day. Uh, so thanks, Maureen. Um, so with that, I'll turn it over to Michael for a few words. Thank you, Mr. Canada. Um, <laughs> you know, Coming in here was wonderful and difficult. Mm -hmm. um, I still think that the sounds of all of our voices and the performances are still echoing off the walls in here. And I bet at some subatomic level, they're still just bouncing back and forth. Gail with you right down there and mm -hmm. Sal backstage. And, uh, you know, this is an incredibly important moment in time for the Producing Guild, because this is sort of the capstone. We had a wonderful reunion uh, at Mark Twain uh, last year, and having an opportunity through Mr. Um, Canada and Maureen and the other folks here at the Hartford, um, we really thought we could put something together. We, we could invite all of you to be here. We would not be here if it weren't for one man, but of course, I'll get to that in a moment, don't worry. But we also wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for the Hartford. The Hartford donated year after year, 1970, 71, 72, 
all the way up to 2002. And if you add up all of that in kind and the um, contributed um, uh, donations and all that that they gave us, it added up to a huge number. And what did that do for the Hartford? It brought tens, hundreds of thousands of people. You have to remember that this theater for each show had about 9,000 people that came here to see these productions. You folks were up here. Some of you were down here, because if you weren't in the show, you were down here as a subscriber. Um, nothing like Lee Tryon trying to rearrange when someone <laughs> couldn't make a performance in here. Um, Dave Flynn, rest his soul, who passed away a couple days ago, was the guy who wrote the software that allowed us to operate here. Mm -hmm. But it was the Hartford. The Hartford was there for us. And the number of people that worked at the Hartford that touched the Producing Guild was vast. Of course, I'm thinking of people like Barry Kramer, mm -hmm. uh, who worked up on the second floor, and I would walk in there with my full set of Hartford keys jingling on my hip, <laughs> looking like I'd fallen off the back of a you know, truck somewhere, going up into the corporate area, and he was always there for us. And all the executives that worked here, the CEOs, uh, the people up in the front offices who would take care of us, if uh, Sal, me, Lee, Becky, whoever else would make a phone call because something was going wrong down here or they had a meeting scheduled in here, they helped us get through it all. Um, the memories here are very strong for all of us. I had an opportunity to sit in here for about 10 minutes. Uh, Maureen showed me in and I sat down and it was so meaningful to me to think of all of you. Um, and the people that are here today and the people that can't be here and the people that are no longer with us are all part of this event right now. We have a lot to celebrate. We have 32 years, right, of shows and productions. Uh, we have a new book, Howard. Mm -hmm. We have a new heart, right? Mm -hmm. Where are you? Right there. And we have Sal, you know. Sal is um, an American theater treasure. And so, you know, we have a lot to be thankful for. I personally have a lot to be thankful for because I had my first date with my wife in that seat right there with Claire Neal, my ex-mother-in-law, sitting directly in front of us. <laughs> and I wasn't sure exactly what to do, but it worked okay, didn't it, honey? Okay, great. So thank you to the Hartford. Thank you all for the memories. But that brings us now to Sal, because when you pull that thread of fabric through all of our lives, the thing that it's anchored to is Sal, mm -hmm. because we wouldn't be here without him. Every single note, every dance step that we got wrong, every time, <laughs> every time he asked me to hang two tons of steel up above and then change his mind after it was all up there. Um, it was always Sal. Sal was there for every rehearsal. And how on earth did we show up for rehearsals at 7.30 or 7? And yeah, 7, but it used to be 7.30. Right. And then we would work till 10.30 at night and then go out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, our performance reviews and our businesses <laughs> because we would show up to work the next day. Now, I was lucky because I actually worked for the Producing Guild itself. And we had all those couches in the green room, so I'd accidentally sit down, read something, and fall asleep. Um, but we also worked so hard, Sal, uh, from 9 in the morning till 10.30 at night, six days a week, generally, with show after show after show. And this is the place where we came together and shared our wares with the theatrical audiences in Hartford. We had a major impact on the arts in the Hartford due to the Hartford itself, as well as the talent that rests in each and every one of you. And when you look around at the people, think of the talent that each of you possesses in here, and you gave it freely to the Guild and to sell. So it's time now to present um, a plaque that thanks to the Hartford has provided for us. Um, I don't think you know where it's going yet, but it's gonna go someplace, either in here in the lobby or in their museum. 
but attention must be paid, not only to the producing guild, but to Sal Marchese. Could you come up, please? See, the blocking's not good, so right there. <laughs> okay. right there. Where's, okay. where's my ex? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mary didn't put down the blue chain. So. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> First time in the history of the producing guild when I said to Sam Marchese, not yet. Okay? So, on behalf of uh, the Hartford, um, We'd like to um, ask Mr. Canada perhaps say a couple words and maybe read the this uh, this guy. Oh, that's pretty. It's beautiful. All right, so I'll read it through. In honor of Sal Marchese. Marchese, Marchese, artistic director of the Producing Guild, in collaboration with the Hartford, for producing outstanding theater that enriched the community. Through this partnership, hundreds of thousands of people experience the magic of theater. The Hartford 1970 to 2002 Wallace Stevens Theater. Congratulations. theater, which is a collective art form, 
the writer sits alone, the painter sits alone. That is not collective. It's not the same. It's not as interdependent artistically. We were, and it was an amazing situation. Over a thousand people worked with the producing guild over the years. By actual count, over a thousand people worked in some way for the producing guild. I think what we accomplished, and I say we, uh, was something that was really one of a kind. And I thank you. An interesting thing, when Jamie Lee Curtis won the Oscar, I was very moved when she held it up and said, we just won an Oscar. That to me was telling the whole story. We, we won an Oscar. You guys did. You guys got a plaque <laughs> at the Hartford. And thank you. Before the voice goes, <laughs> thank you all very much from my heart. Swan Lake. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to stand next to us so we can take a couple pictures? Take a pictures? Yeah. Come on in. Mr. So Canada, please. That's what I want. Sure. Yeah. Uh, right by your name. <laughs> right. Pictures. <laughs> Photo op. Smile. Photo op. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so I'm sure folks would still like to stay in here and take it in, but we do have some uh, refreshments and things waiting for you just out here around the corner. Uh, Maureen can direct us to those. Um, enjoy snacks, still continue to uh, congregate, engage with each other, and I'm, I'm, I'll stick around and hear some more of these stories. I'm sure there's plenty to share. Thank and you. give Becky a round of applause for putting oh, it on. Thank you. 